as I told America, you played um Juco level, you played D one ball, mm -hmm. you played D two. Okay. Yeah. Like what are the main differences that you that you uh found between the three? Well, when I started off in JUCO coming out of high school, you know what I'm saying? It was it was like it was kind of fast. It was kind of fast to me. So I kind of like my freshman year, I ain't really did play as much as I thought I should. You know, every freshman that come in and think they should be playing a lot. I just right. had to understand the game more, you know what I'm saying? So as like as the year went on, I understood my role on the team because I was playing with it wasn't with like two or three of us freshmen on the team. So it was a lot of sophomores about to get up out of there and go D one, D two, uh grads away, whatever they're gonna do. You know what I'm saying? So like the first year or so, like in maybe in the middle of the season, I was playing behind Mike Park Jr. He went to end up going to Memphis, so you know what I'm saying? He was like sixteen. I was like come out of high school, I wasn't that big, I wasn't that as strong as you know what I'm saying, as he was, and he was like more more experienced than me. So, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I like kind of learned a lot from him. So moving on to my sophomore year, the game slowed down for me, started to catch up to me. You know what I'm saying? So I probably averaged like maybe 10 and five, 10 and six, mm -hmm. something like that. And I was able to go on to make these, which was the vision one. And uh, I went there and it was, the game was way different than Juco. So like, Coming out of coming from high school and going to JUCO and then going to D one, it was like I thought it was gonna be a cakewalk. I ain't gonna lie to you, Cole. I thought it was gonna be, <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a cakewalk. I'm like, yeah, man, I, I, this this is college basketball, or whatever. But I'm thinking it's gonna be cool, like a cool little cakewalk or something. Uh, but at the same time, when I got there, I seen it was like the the grind different. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And every every game matter, every position matter. You know what I'm saying? And I was playing on a coach who who took the defensive end really like personally to talk. You know what I'm saying? If you couldn't guard, you can't play. And you know mm -hmm. me when I heard you know <laughs> you know how I was. Like I ain't really like to guard like that. I wanted to like, that's why that's why I had to sit your tail down. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, I want I want to, I want as big as I am not as in I, as in I'm, weight wise, you know what I'm saying? I I, I'm aware of that. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying, like I think over the years, like be playing against guys my size who were much bigger than me, it molded me into like the part the player I am today because like you had no choice because you're gonna get bullied every day in practice and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? And I learned a lot from division one, you know what I'm saying? I from the from understanding the game, like that's why I really started to understand the game, especially uh, along with the shot clock. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. early a lot of shots you don't take as early as you would at, you know what I'm saying, as in high school, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of shots and bad shots. A lot of shots. My, my shot might not be, you know what I'm saying, your shot. Might not be mm -hmm. as good as your shot. Your shot might not be, be as good as my shot. So I learned a lot from the Vision 1. And I I, I stayed, uh, I registered my first year. I played two years uh, at Magnese, uh, kind of mm -hmm. like limited minutes. But I ended up starting like two games in the conference tournament, which mm -hmm. was kind of big for me. It helped me along the way. So I ended up leaving and uh, going D2. And uh -huh. the difference between Division One and, D and, and Division Two is that you know the talent ain't as big as Division One, but also like I played at one of the top conferences in the country, and I played at one at a, at a top ten school in the country too in Division Two. So oh, okay. losing a conference that that had some hoopers like Division One transfers, and if you know about Northwest Missouri State, like they won, like they was our rivals, they won like. Old national championship. They just recently won it this year. So like that, that I, that was kind of exciting because I still had that D one like you know what I'm saying fan base. It was still like live and you know? so. It, it and really y'all in them. Kansas, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, we, we in Kansas. Where, where they Kansas. love, they love basketball. Yeah, they love man. basketball up there. You know what I'm saying? And that that it really wasn't a, a big drop off for me because I was going to a good school. Like was like I said, it was top ten in the country. And playing against other play other teams that was like Northwest Missouri State was number one in the country, you know what I'm saying? So like I, I had got a good experience with that. So I'm kinda glad I chose that school. And if I could could have changed changed one thing, I wish I could have knew about them early on because that's why I would have went to them. So mm. <laughs> So you talking about coming out of a uh, high school or after after JUCO, you would have No, nah, well um, you know, out of JUCO, you know, everybody wanna go D one. You know what I'm saying? But after my experience at Magnese, 
after the first year and the second year, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to get out into that, but oh, I wish okay. I could have, you know what I'm saying, knew about them early on and know, like, because I was thinking, like, D2 don't play good basketball and this and that, but they, they really play good basketball, especially the company that we're in. 